Welcome back. Well, as you know, hearing is a very important subject, and today we have Tony Barriant with the Hearing Well Club and her guest, Anne Mundell, oh goodness, no, Noel, of the Ultimate Hearing. Welcome, both of you. Hi, Thank Lisa. you. Good to see you. Good to see you, too, and welcome, and we'll be right um, with you and learning all about what you have coming up. But, but first, uh, let me know a little bit about the Hearing Well Club. The Hearing Well Club was established um, a few years ago, and... Um, it really focuses on um, helping people with hearing loss, coping strategies. Um, a lot of times they go to buy a hearing aid and they're totally lost. So we talk about the Consumer's Guide to Purchasing Hearing Aids. Great. Um, we're talking about hearing accessibility. We work very hard here in the village trying to get the different clubhouses accessible. Mm -hmm. And so we, we meet every month, okay. second Tuesday of the month. Mm -hmm. Performing Arts Center. I'm okay. so used to saying Clubhouse 3. <laughs> Performing right. Arts Performing Center, Arts Center. And Dining Room 2. <laughs> right. And, and we have a hearing loop, so we make it accessible for everybody. Right. Well, since, I, since I've been here, which has been, you know, a little, almost three months now, I'm learning a lot about all the different things that there are available, and that loop is one of them that's very helpful, I'm sure. Yes. And the, the uh, GRF board meeting, that room is looped, so people right. who are in-house attending that meeting they'll be able to use their hearing aids to hear directly and okay. um, yeah perfect well would you love to introduce your guest I would love to introduce this is Anne Mundell Noel she's the audiology advisor for the Hearing Well Club okay. since I don't have a license to practice hearing health care I really appreciate Anne's help because when I have questions I can't answer and I need a professional answer, mm -hmm. this is who I turn to. Well, so. awesome. That's a, that's a lovely introduction. <laughs> and she is going to be the presenter at our next meeting, May okay. 8th. Okay. And we're going to be talking about smart hearing aids. So I like it. Well, everything, everything is smart, right? We have smart <laughs> cars, smart phones. Tell me, how can a hearing aid be smart? Well, everyone thinks that the hearing aid itself is the smart part, and it is today because the technology allows you to get a cleaner, clearer signal mm -hmm. to the brain, which will in turn help you become smarter, right? Ah. Because it's the processing of the hearing aid that really does the work. Okay. But what is really fun is that the hearing aids today can now be connected to an iPhone, and some other technology so that now you can use your smartphone to make adjustments and make life easier for you. So tell me how that would work. How, is it an app that you would download or how does that work? Yes, yeah, so the hearing aids themselves, the processing in them now is so much more dynamic that you really don't have to do anything. So those people who are afraid of technology, the hearing aids today are doing so much that they don't have to touch it. Okay. But for those people who like to adjust it or who are a little bit more tech savvy, um, there's an app and you can go onto the app and you can change programs, you can change volume, you can mute the microphone so mm -hmm. you can connect to phone calls. So you really can have better than normal hearing on a phone call because you're getting the call into both ears at the same time mm -hmm. and you can mute the microphones so now you get a call, both ears, no outside sound. Well, and you're not fiddling either with anything that might be near your ears. Right. Especially if someone didn't want anyone to know that they had exactly. hearing aids. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So, okay. unfortunately, cell phones are now socially acceptable, right, to be yeah. able to be on your phone at the right. restaurant or somewhere. And so now you could actually be making adjustments to your hearing aids without anybody knowing. Well, that's wonderful. What, a, what a nice thing. I mean, you know, it's a good, bad thing, right? Technology is great because of those kinds of things, but then we end up spending more time looking at our phone. Exactly. Now, um, tell me a little bit about old Ultimate Hearing and uh, what you do for people there. Thank you. Um, Ultimate Hearing is in the Trader Joe Shopping Center um, right around the corner here from Laguna Woods and I have had that office now for seven years okay. and we do hearing testing, we fit hearing aids, but more importantly we have a loop in our office so patients who if they're not sure if their hearing aids have a T-coil or not could come in and experience that and we have a wide variety of assistive devices on display. Oh, good. So we have the caption phones and we have the TV amplifier so if you're not sure where to go for hearing start with us and we can direct you. How, how has Anne and, and her facility helped you out? 
Well, Anne, you know, comes to all of our meetings. Okay. Uh, well, I have my hearing aid with her. Okay. So personally, on a personal basis, okay. she takes care of me and my hearing aid. All right. Uh, on this side, I have a cochlear implant, so right. that's that's somebody else. Okay. But on a monthly basis, she attends all of our meetings, so she is open for questions. Uh, people can ask her. A lot of times, people are afraid to. Pref uh, approach a professional she's very okay. open and and you can ask her just about anything okay um, you know about their own hearing right. their hearing aid um, you know if an adjustment is needed sometimes that right. she can do that right there on the meeting so. okay and yeah. tell me a little bit about your background I mean how did you get into this type of business oh uh, well I actually thought I was going to be a physical therapist and yeah. in a roundabout way I am um, I was going to be a physical therapist. I was running track at Michigan State, at University of Michigan, and decided to switch colleges and go to Michigan State. And they didn't have a physical therapy program, so I'm like, oh. hmm, what am I going to do now? Uh -huh. My roommate was in audiology. She said the magic words: "All your credits will transfer." <laughs> I was like, ah. Yeah, there you so go. I got done. Into, yeah, I got into it. It was the path of least resistance. It came easy, and then I'm like, Mom, Dad, guess what? I need a master's degree in this before I can. <laughs> do something so people don't understand they're like an audiologist my undergraduate degree is speech pathology and audiology okay. so people have heard of speech pathologists right. but not necessarily audiologists okay. so at the master's level you choose one or the other and that's right. what I did and um, it's been wonderful so the reason I say I'm now a physical therapist is truly people think you put on a hearing aid and you just hear and that is the farthest thing from the truth. Because if that were the case, you would be buying a commodity, right? You could right. go to any of the stores and just pick out a hearing aid and put it on. Right. But it's really how they're fit and how they're adjusted and how you're counseled. Because my job is to retrain your brain on how right. to hear sound, how to hear it at a level that's acceptable, and then how to maximize your brain's ability to comprehend and use that device. So it's a different way of fitting hearing aids than just going in and buying a product. Exactly. Well, and I tell you, she just described her, her kind of her tagline, ultimate hearing. I mean, isn't that what she just <laughs> described, right? Right. So that was good. It's the quality of life change yeah. that we really see. I mean, right. it's from um, children with their parents of just being short and quick and fast right. versus having a conversation and enjoying and you know, I get to see life change every day, and it's wonderful. Excellent. And and you will be the, the speaker at the May 8th event that's coming up, and that yes. is uh, regular meetings. And everyone can come, or is it just those Every, who? Okay. Well, we're open to Laguna Woods residents, right. and there are friends. Okay. And they're guests. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. good. Well, thank you so much. Thank I really you. appreciate the information, and good luck on your presentation. Thank you. Thank All you. right. Nice to have you both. Thanks. Thank you.